giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. I'm Don West and this is Mediacom News Leaders. I'm joined now by Lance Kettering, the Executive Director of the Springfield Sports Commission. Lance, welcome to you, sir. Yeah, thanks for having me today. You have had a lot going on. The NAIA Softball World Series was brought to Springfield by the Sports Commission and just uh, completed in May. Yeah, uh, first time event for Springfield. We partnered with Evangel University and the Springfield Green County Park Board. We hosted at the Killian Softball Complex. It was the national championship with 10 teams from across the country competing, and it was about a oh, 12, 13 day event, uh, culminating with the national championship uh, with Southern Oregon winning the championship. Indeed, the Raiders from Oregon took the title, and uh, that last day took a long time with a, with a delay, right? We, we had a nine hour rain delay, and <laughs> of course, we were only two and a half innings away from finishing the event, but we did get it finished about uh, 11 o'clock at night and sent the Raiders home with a national championship trophy. What goes into hosting an NAIA championship? Well, it's a long process. It's a, they, they put out a request for proposal. Um, the way the NAIA works, in, in short words, is you're responsible for all expenses, and then you're responsible to generate all the revenue. Uh -huh. So uh, everything from sponsorship to ticket sales we are in charge of, and then all expenses that go with hosting, hosting the event, such as facilities and, and uh, the, the grounds crew, et cetera. So, it's an expensive venture, but in the end, uh, the revenues do come up on the on the right side of things. And this is, uh, what, a two-year contract mm -hmm. to start with, with plans or hopes that it will stay in Springfield after that? Yeah, we're going to have an event recap with the NAIA folks, and, and uh, we do have it in 2020. They will put it back out for a rebid uh, probably the end of this year, and then we'll just go from there. Basically good reviews from the teams and everyone? Yeah, we had some really good reviews from the teams. Uh, one of the th our strengths was our branding of the facility. Uh, we really uh, branded it, made it look like a championship field with the bunting and the team logos throughout the venue. So uh, good marks uh, all around. Okay. Well, the Springfield Sports Commission Awards are coming up, an annual event that's coming June 17th at University Plaza. That's another uh, landmark event for yeah. you. We started this event in 2013. Uh, so entering our sixth, seventh year of that event, we're going to award about 30 to 35 different awards, um, uh, with scholastic awards to area athletes in all sports, uh, including cheer and dance. I will also give out um, player of the year awards in, in male and female athletes of the year and then teams of the year. So uh, exciting night that we can kind of give back to our community because a lot of times our mission is bringing out town visitors to Springfield. This is an event where we can showcase our local so local talents. That's an evening event on Monday, June 17th? Correct. University Plaza Hotel. Okay. So that's the Springfield Sports Commission Awards coming up here in June as well. Now, the uh, region plays host to the Premier Baseball League that has for several years now, and that's coming up here this yep. summer. We're in our eighth year of hosting this event, and we use about 10 facilities in the area. And it's a champion, national championship event. A lot of teams from Texas come into this. Um, a lot of Major League Baseball alumni have been a part of Premier Baseball. A uh, recent uh, uh, participant that participated in an event in Springfield was Alex Bregman of the Houston Astros. So okay. you don't necessarily know who the, who the stars are when they're playing as 14 and 15 year olds, but obviously down the road, mm -hmm. you find out who they are. And these are incoming freshmen at that level of uh, Premier League Baseball? Correct. And there'll be 40 teams participating this year. Okay, that fills the hotels and restaurants, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, about 1,500 to 2,000 room nights that week. So. Indeed. Well, what other events are uh, coming up for the Sports Commission? Uh, or, or what have you had, say? Sure, yeah. Of course, we hosted the Misha State Basketball Championships in March. That's a signature event we're very proud to host. And this was our second year of a five-year contract with Misha. Of course, we hope to keep that as long as we certainly can. And then it's been great to partner with U.S. Baseball Park in Ozark for Sports Commission events uh, that we partner with them. Uh, we won the bid with Coach Stratton and the U.S. Baseball Park to bring uh, state baseball back to Springfield, Ozark region, 2021 through 2025. So not next school year, but uh, the five following that, uh, state high school baseball will be in Ozark at U.S. Baseball Park, another great get for the Springfield Sports Commission and uh, this uh, this area. Good stuff from local sports, Lance. That's yep. what we're all about. That's right. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Springfieldmosports.org is the website for information from the Springfield Sports Commission, so check that out. And join us next time here on Media Conference.